Hi everyone, it's me, Spring the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be working on the weaving loom, and the video for the most part will be in real time. I may speed up sections, <clears throat> but for the most part, I'm going to record in real time and uh, talk a little bit here and there. Uh, may throw in some music while I'm just weaving because there's really not a whole lot to talk about. <laughs> Excuse me. But um, you see, you may see me occasionally messing with these cards. What it is is um, each particular time I go through with my shuttle and... I'm changing my heddles. This tells me which, basically, if you were crocheting or knitting, this will tell you what row you're on. Um, there's a pattern repeat, so it's not necessarily rows, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and then three, two, one, three, two, one, three. So it's not like counting how many rows until you're at a hundred and something. Um, it's just telling me, basically, it's telling me what I need to do on that row where I'm at in the pattern. So, I'll you may see me with one of these in my hand in the video, just so you know ahead of time. There's one and two and three, like that. And that's what it is. It's telling me what number I'm on on the pattern and what I need to do with my heddles. So I will do a several different views of working on the loom. You'll get to see the different sheds that happen uh, while working the heddles. Uh, they create what's called a shed, and that's where you put your shuttle through. Um, having the two heddles and the yarn being all crisscrossed and stuff in there, it creates different strands coming up at different times. So it's not just an up and down thing. It's a uh, different strands do different things at different times to create um, the pattern that we're weaving. So I think that's it for me talking right now. I will turn the video around and get started working on the pattern. Uh, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> okay, so for now I'm just going to have you at this angle and work a couple of rows. I'm going to go ahead and tighten my tension back up. I loosen my tension when I am not working on it. Now I have cut away from this particular um, shuttle, which had the multicolored cotton on it, and I'm gonna be working with the white. Uh, in order to keep the thickness down, this particular end is separated and wove into the strands at different lengths so it keeps it from being too thick in one area. I'm gonna go ahead and beat that down just so that way it's nice and straight and ready to go. So this is heddle number one. It's considered my front heddle. This is heddle number two. It is my back heddle. So <clears throat> as a for instance, for my very first shed through my very first uh, time through, I will go and use my heddles. I got a knot, so let me get the knot out here. Now that the knot is out. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. For instance, I will go through the first three and that'll give you an idea as to what I'm talking about when I say that these raise and lower different strands. So for the first row, the first pass through, 
I need to have my front heddle in the up position, which means put it in the very top of the carriage. The back one stays in neutral. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna lift up a certain amount of threads, the ones that are in all of these holes in this heddle will come up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that pass through the head, uh, through the uh, strands. And I'm gonna leave a long enough tail that I can weave it in later. Now I'm just simply gonna take my heddle, this one's still in neutral, and I'm gonna bring it down and beat that snugly up against the row before where I ended the last row. Now I'm just gonna set this back in neutral. <clears throat> so for my next pass on row two, um, my front heddle will stay in neutral and my back heddle will be in the up position. So to make it easy, I'm gonna take my front heddle out and take my back heddle out, place my back heddle in the up position. So now that's gonna raise only a certain number of threads in the holes. And you're missing every so many strands, there is no thread. So with the front heddle in neutral, that means all of the strands that I raised prior that were in the holes are now in the neutral position. They're down below these strands. So now I'm gonna pass my shuttle through and you can kind of see those strands, these strands that are in the up position. I'm gonna finish passing that through. <clears throat> now to keep my sides from drawing in really bad, I lay my strand at a very strong angle here, and then I can beat it down and it won't pull in that side. So I'm gonna pull that out, put this back in neutral, and now I'm gonna take my front heddle and beat that down. Now I'm gonna set that back in neutral. And now we have just a slightly different uh, woven pattern here. So now I'm gonna go on to the third row. The third row, both heddles are in the down position. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna take all of the strands that are in both heddle, the holes of both heddles and push them down. So I'm gonna pull that one out, put this one in the down position first. <clears throat> now all of my slot threads are up. And I'll do the same with this one because they're different in both heddles. So all of my slot threads are up from both heddles. Now I'm gonna make that pass And you can see there's a lot more strands here with none missing. So again, I'm gonna pull this through, give it a nice angle here, take that out of the down position, that one too, put it in neutral, and now I'm going to beat that down and put it back in neutral. So that is the first sequence. Now I'll be repeating those sequences. I have went through one, two, and three. One, two, and three is what's going to happen in different sequences, picking up each individual sets of threads that are passed through between the slots and the holes of the heddles. 
depending on whether it's up, down, or in neutral. In neutral means all strands from the back heddle and the front heddle, all strands are exactly even across. There is none raised higher than the other. They are all even. So that is what neutral is. There is nowhere to put your shuttle through. I'm going to do another uh, sequence through. And then after that, I will change the view of the camera to where you can see along the side and see the different changes in the threads. Let me go ahead and switch my cards. See, I messed up there. The back should have been in the up position. Let me fix that. So fixing a mistake is not too complicated as long as you catch it right away. You just go back through and pull your thread back out or yarn. Now, go and do this the right way. Back heddle in the up position, front heddle in the neutral position. <laughs> that looks better. There we go. two. Now we're on to three.
Okay, so you've seen several different views of how I am working this pattern. And you get to see <clears throat> the different sheds that happen with the different heddles moving. Um, and you got to see a little bit of the pattern as it's being formed. Uh, it's really obvious in the white, in the solid color, versus the start where I had the multicolor. So definitely looking awesome with the white and the turquoise color. So I'm going to continue working on this particular uh, pattern. And uh, I'll probably bring you back in a video when I go to cut these off and show you how I'm going to finish them up. Um, it might be a couple weeks. I don't know. We'll see how <laughs> how busy I can get uh, working on these. So be blessed. Be a blessing. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed um, seeing how the woven process is made. Um, the woven fabric process is made on a 32-inch rigid heddle loom. Again, this is not a... Uh, pattern tutorial. This is the diamond twill um, with alterations. And yeah, so everybody, I just hope that you enjoyed. <laughs> so be blessed, be a blessing, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now, everyone.